Welcome to my channel, Comic Book Noise, as we talk about my comic book company, Digital Noise, as we explain the characters and the storylines of the Digital Noise universe. Today, I'm very excited to announce my new comic book title called The Sound System. And the sound system consists of superhero members of this team that derive and get their powers from music itself. And it's a very interesting and a different type of comic book. And um, each member represents a genre of music. Their superhero names are of the genre that they're representing. And uh, one is called pop, one is called rave, one is called country, one is called neo soul, uh, the other one is called hip hop, of course, heavy metal, and the list goes on as the issues expand. So you will see each comic book genre that there's a superhero member or a super powered uh, hero, uh, a super powered person that represents that genre of music. And I'm very excited about it and how I came up with the idea of this comic book uh, title or this superhero team. It was way back, I was working with Marvel. I started off working with Marvel. I was very young, I think it was like 18 or something or 19. And I worked with Marvel and, uh, and it was in the 1990s. Um, and that's when Beavis and Butthead was famous and Eon Flux was famous. Um, and uh, what happened was I was invited to a comic book convention to, to be a host there at a comic book convention. It was the first time I've ever been there. And I was very marveled at everything and I looked at everything and all of a sudden this young guy, uh, I was young too, but he was like uh, this person came over to me and he asked me, said, hey, you have any ideas for like a cartoon or a TV show or anything like that? And I was like, well, maybe who are you? And it was one of the, I think he was the, one of the developers of the animation department for shows or development for MTV. And I was pretty, psyched by the invite. And I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe I can have a meeting or something, just give me a card or something like that. And I was just like, okay. I guess he was giving out, you know, uh, his business card to different artists or things like that. And so in my mind, right away, it sparked that, oh, MTV, music. I can do a superhero comic book about music and make it a superhero team and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and it was in, I think it was in 1995, 94, I came up with this idea. And I, you know, I did the whole character designs and everything. I did a whole representation or uh, presentation for the sound system and the idea of it, and I presented it to them, and they, they, uh, the guy who I presented it to, who was the head of that department at MTV that time, was saying, "Is this oh, is this too literal? This is too literal of a idea for a comic, for a not a comic book, but for a animation series." So I was like, "Okay, that's fine, whatever." But then, but it kept haunting me that this should be in production somehow. And then at the time, I just was starting out at Marvel. I was a little peon artist and I was very young and naive and things like that. But uh, so I thought, well, hmm, let me not put this to waste. Let me offer it, not offer it. Let me propose it to Marvel and see if any of the editors think it's a good idea. And it got a little bit of things, but it never got picked up by Marvel. Uh, or anything like that. And so uh, it was just something in the back of my mind. It kept burning in the back of my head that it could be like, I think it's a cool idea to produce it as a book or something and, and make it 
as something come to fruition and that exists in the world. So, um, so I just kind of put that in the back burner, but I still had the ideas and things like that. And, and so fast forward to, I guess when I started to really create my own comic book, which was in 2006, and I came up with the idea of Delete, which I explained further. And I also have another comic book title I came out with um, later on, I think in 2008, 2009, was uh, The Positive Omen, which is a superhero team that are HIV positive, but I will do a a video commentary on that as well, um, coming up soon in the near future. I still was thinking during those times that I was producing those comic books, I still had in the back of my mind, how can I do this book? How can I present the book? How could I write this book or my ideas and put into fruition? But now, finally, um, just going over it and and coming up now, I think I will. I know I have the stories now and the arcs now and what I want to express with this uh, title. And, and it's about music because I always loved music, and it coincides with m my artistry as uh, an illustrator because when I growing up, all I did was I stayed in my room and just listened to music and drew my ideas out and just drew, drew, drew comic books, ideas, art, and music was always my thing. I think if I wasn't an artist as a artist, because I'm, I discovered many different things through my art. I discovered I was a storyteller. I discovered I loved producing stories, whether it's movie, film, or comic book, or art, or anything like that. But I, if I wasn't that aspect of an artist, I would have been a musician or something like that, because I love music of mostly every genre. And I found beauty in music, and music is, I think music is a part of being you. Music is a part of life from the birds singing, from the sounds we hear throughout the universe. I mean, just sounds resonate within our souls. Uh, and sounds is a very intricate part of who we are and what life is about. So um, this title and this superhero team I will use my creativity to express what I feel what music is about, how music influences our lives, how powerful music is, how effective music is, and how music is just a part of our lives as the blood streams within our bodies. So um, I'm just so excited to introduce you to the sound system um, that will be coming out also in 2024 as well, or late 2024 to early 2005. That's when I'm kind of sleeping in. I'm working hard at it as, as we speak, along with Delete and a couple of other titles. Um, but I think that this comic book is new and inventive and original and um, I've kind of introduced it to the world because if you look on my uh, Facebook page it's called Digital Noise um, and you'll uh, you'll see it right here on uh, you know in the subtitles that I have right now uh, and in it's on Facebook and you see, I introduced pop, I introduced and uh, other, I, will, I call them visual albums, as you see, that introduce the characters um, that I use. And um, everything that's related to music is related to the book. So you will be amazed at the journey that we're gonna go on with this title. And I hope you come along and join with me. And I will also do more in-depth commentary on 
who who are the sound system and more details about who they are and what they're about and what their purpose is uh, in future videos to come. So watch out for those. Thank you for being here and uh, I'm so happy that you have joined me and like and subscribe so you can get more information about what uh, the sound system and other future titles that I'm coming out in with digital noise. And uh, you all stay safe, be careful, and take care.